Did you know there's a difference between using the alpha channel transparency and opacity in your NativeScript apps? We're going to take a look at the difference in this video. When it comes to native mobile apps, and NativeScript is no exception here, when you're trying to make a view semi-transparent using opacity or the alpha channel, there is a big difference in how you use that for performance and the look of it. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the difference between how applying those two different types of transparencies affect the way your views look, and I'm gonna tell you how the performance is affected as well. Check it out. All right, just a quick tip today. It really does matter what you use, alpha channel or opacity, and I'm gonna show you how it matters. So here we have the Hello World application. I'm just gonna clean this page up a little bit. Uh, instead of this stack layout, I'm gonna have a grid layout. Let's close that out right there. And uh, I want my grid layout to have two columns. First, we're gonna slap on the class of P-20, which is gonna give us a padding of 20. This P-20, by the way, comes from uh, the theme, the native script theme, in case you're wondering where that class came from. And I talk a lot more about themes in the styling native script applications courses on nativescripting.com if you want to learn more. All right, so we're going to define some columns here. And I'm going to compare in one column the alpha channel and in the other column opacity. So I'm going to have two equal columns. And for the first column, let's create a stack layout as our container. This is the one we're going to style. Here we're going to give it a class alpha one, which I've yet to define, but we will in a second. And let's put this in column zero. And I'm going to copy the stack layout, paste it here. I'm going to put this other one in column one and call this opacity one. Now let's head over to our app.css. Right now we can't see anything, of course, on the right side there. I'm going to define the class alpha one and let's give this a background color. And we're going to use not just a regular background color, but we're going to use the RGB definition. So, you know, you can just define a color like this, right? And there's the background color of red. You can use hex values here here, which is FF0000, which will be the same red, or we can also use RGB and we can use RGBA. So lots of different options here. Let's use the RGBA function. We're going to go with zero for red. For green, we're going to go with 255, which is maximum green. And for blue, we're going to go with zero. And for alpha, we're going to go with one. So alpha goes from zero to one. And one means fully visible and zero means invisible. So right now we're gonna get a nice green stack layout there with the green background. All right, and now I'm gonna copy this, paste it here. I'm gonna call this one opacity one. And our second one should show up. You know what, just so that we can see the difference between them, I'm gonna add another class called M-20. And M-20, you could have guessed, it's gonna give us a margin of 20 on those stack layouts. Okay, so we have two of them and they look identical right now because they're both visible they have the same exact styling. So let's see what we can do here. I'm going to make it half as visible. So I'm going to do this in two different ways. And the first one, I'm going to do an alpha channel. So I'm going to set that to 0.5. And on the second one, I'm going to leave RGB the same, but I'm going to choose opacity and set that to 0.5. All right. So let's see. Well, they still look exactly the same as each other. They're half as visible and we can probably tell that a little bit better if we have something in the background. So I'm going to add a page here and let's do a background color for the page. Let's make it royal blue. All right. So our page is now going to be royal blue. I just need to remove this page class from the page. And now we have blue. And as you can see, this green in the front is blending with the background blue. So if we set this alpha to 0.2 and opacity to 0.2, you can see it's blending in. All right, so now that you know that, I'm going to remove this blue background color, but let me show you something else here. What is the difference between these? Well, the difference is how it treats the elements inside. I'm going to add a label here with the text of hello, and I'm going to do the exact same thing here in this other stack layout, and you'll see that they're very different. The way they show up is very different here. This label in our alpha stack layout shows up at full opacity, full colors and full opacity. But this one is actually showing up at only 0.2 of opacity. I don't know if you can see that very well in the video. I'm going to set this back to 0.5. Should be a little bit more visible. 
All right, there we go. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna add one more thing here, font weight. I'm gonna set that to bold and let's set the font size to 100. So we can see a little bit better. Huh, it's too big, I guess. So let's set it to 20. Okay, it's a little bit thicker. You can see it and you can definitely see the difference here. I'm also gonna do one other thing. Uh, let's go over here to resources. I'm just gonna grab one of these images here that's already in here, this icon 24, 1024. I'm gonna copy that and paste it here in the root of our application. It's just one of the icons that comes with the default template. So there's our image right there. I'm gonna take this image and I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm gonna add an image source and that's gonna be icon-1024.png. Let's close out that image. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here. And this way you get a sense of the image, how it looks as well as text. And you can see that it affects both types of content inside of that stack layout. So why am I telling you all this? Well, the reason is that this may affect your performance, especially if you're going to be using this kind of transparency and alpha channel quite a bit in your applications. And if you're animating and moving things around on the screen, the view on the left here, the one that has alpha is rendering views back to front. So it's going to render that stack layout with the background color that's semi-transparent first, and then it's gonna render the image and the label on top of that without changing its blending with the background and that's going to save on performance and cost because every time you have to blend with the background it adds extra cost and extra processing because the colors in the front for example the blue color in this icon needs to be blended with the background which is green which needs to be blended with the background which is white and that's what's happening in the second column so the second column is incurring quite a lot more cost here than the first column just because of all the blending that has to happen. So the reason for this video is just so that you're aware of what's happening and the differences between these type of blending modes. And hopefully this will give you a better idea of what kind of decisions you need to make when you add transparencies in your own applications. All right, folks, hopefully that makes you a little bit more aware about what you're using, whether it's alpha channel transparency or opacity in your apps. So be a little careful and keep that in the back of your mind when you're using those types of techniques. And I'll see you in the next video.